Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, and it reads, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline out of many to rest judgment. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. And this scripture right here is plain. Follow not a multitude to do evil. I mean, you Israelites, you mean something you can't tell when somebody's into wickedness? You, you mean to tell me you don't have the eyes, the discernment to see when somebody's into wickedness? You don't have the eyes, the discernment to see when somebody's doing something that ain't right? This, this is just plain. You grow up knowing wrong from right. You see someone doing the wrong thing, you don't hang with them. You see somebody acting unruly, bold, just willing to do anything, not, not discerning the time. The scriptures goes into all that. You don't hang with a bold fellow. Somebody that's willing to get himself in trouble and you at the same time. And they, and they don't care. They don't care what happens to you. They don't care what happens to them. But the scriptures tell us what? Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You got a whole lot of people jumping off the cliff. Are you going to follow them? Are you going to follow them? You got a whole lot of people jumping in a river full of crocodiles and alligators and piranhas and sharks. Are you going to follow them? The answer should be no, right? But a whole lot of people do because our people love excitement. They love thrills. They love nonsense. They love chaos. Anything negative. But the Lord is telling us, follow not a thou shalt not follow. The, look, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You see a whole lot of nonsense going on down the street. Would you, you gonna take your happy ass down there? Being nosy. Meddle not in others' affairs. They want to continue on in wickedness. Let them continue on in wickedness. You know to go the other way. Don't follow a multitude to do evil. You see everybody taking the C-hip? You don't do it. You see everybody taking the Maxine Waters? That Capri Sun? You don't do it. You see people want to fuss and fight and wrestle all down to the ground and be big bad wolves and I'm going to take over your block. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Don't follow them. You see a bad tree with, with corrupt fruit. You don't eat up that fruit. Neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline out the many to rest judgment. You'll fight against the judgments of your howl by Shemim Shah. You'll fight against this word. You fight for the word, not against the word. The scriptures tell us to be wise as serpent harms as doves. Look, that's a commandment. You, that's what you do. You don't say being wise is lame. You got these other Israelite groups saying being wise, taking it low, being harmless. It's, it's being a coward. But that ain't what the scriptures say. You see? That's how, that's how you uh, that's how you pretty much protect your life by being, being wise. Like the scriptures say, let wisdom meet us at every thought. You see a bunch of uh, men or women commit wicked acts. Like you see, you know, a guy wants you to ride with him to go rob, rob a bank. Are, are you going to ride with him? Knowing what he's into? Or you know this guy is known for just getting into all crazy madness. And then that's how you know, you see him coming down the block in a car. And you're like, yo, you want to ride with me? Are you going to hop in the car with him? Absolutely no. Why? Because you know he's subject to getting into some nonsense. And you don't want to get caught up in it. Follow not a multitude to do evil. This is just something plain. This is just something plain, Israel. We should, we should be getting it by now. You see, we, we should be getting it by now. But a whole lot of people are into this thing of ours for contention, for strife, for envy. They, they really don't care about the ministry. They really don't care about the flock. They're leading the flock to the slaughter. And the majority of our people, look, they don't even see it. 
Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved, meaning corrected over and over, over and over, over and over. The Lord just correcting them through his men over and over. All kind of videos. Breaking down the scriptures the right way. But they continue to break down the scriptures the wrong way. They into all kind of wickedness. You like, yo, you need to stop doing that. She's into all kind of wickedness. You like, yo, you need to stop doing that. But they don't want to take correction. They, they don't want to be reproved. You can't correct them. They know it all already. And they, they're just stubborn. That, that's, that's pride right there. A person that walks around stubborn, you can't tell them that. They think they know it all already. And then they know what they're doing is wicked. But, but they don't care because they're just so tough. They're just so thug. They're not going to back down. You got Israelite group leaders telling you if, if it's a whole lot of men, if it's 30 men outside and they want to hurt you, and you inside where protection is at, you better go. This is what these Israelite groups are telling their they congregation. You better go outside and defend yourself. Don't stay inside where it's safe at because you're a coward. Don't take the low. I need you to go outside. And if you get beat the hell up, then, then it's all good. You get your eye black. You get your teeth knocked out. It's all good because you with us. And we don't. We can't We can't have that. We're, look, we're trying to uphold a reputation and all this BS. That's not of the Lord. But that's what our people love. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. He or she that be an author and reprove me to correct it, hard lift his neck, just hard-headed. You see? Adam and stone, hard-headed, shall suddenly be destroyed. When you least suspect it, you're going to be suddenly destroyed. And that without remedy. It ain't going to be no cure. And eventually, all the nonsense is going to catch up to you. It, it, it always does. Eventually. I want to get, um. let's see. Bear with me. St. Matthew chapter 7. Let's see, bear with me. St. Matthew chapter 7. I started 13. This red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, what they gonna call Jesus, right? Enter ye in at the straight gate. The path of difficulty, right? This is the path that we're supposed to go, go down, right? What you got men telling you is, is to have fun. Go, look, 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 look. Don't, don't go through the straight. Don't go down that path of difficulty. No, go, go through the wide gate. You see? What does it say? Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And that's the path that the majority of these Israelite groups are leading their congregation down. That wide gate. The broad way that leadeth to destruction. Look, look, and many there be which go in thereat. So it's a whole lot of Israelite groups that are, that are going to follow a multitude to do evil. And they're going to be destroyed. The scriptures just said that. Following that wide gate leads to destruction. Following that straight and narrow, that path of difficulty leads to eternal life. Even though it's hard. You got to be disciplined. You got to take the low. You got to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. But when you take the wide gate, you can be stubborn. You can be prideful. You can just do whatever the hell you want to. You ain't got to be reproved. <laughs> because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. So the path that we're on, even though it's a narrow path and it's a path of difficulty, it leads to eternal life. And few be, and few there be that find it. Then you know it's only about the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, keep your eyes open. Israel, we all got to keep our eyes open. A whole lot of mischievous madness is going on right about now. The Lord, the Lord pretty much letting us see everything that's going, the Lord, that we're in that time to where everything is being revealed. Everything that was covered, everything that was being hid, it's just, it just coming out now. Everybody's showing their true colors. Everybody's showing exactly who they are right about now. And if you can't see it, what, what, what can we do? What can we do? Beware of false prophets with an S. 
They're everywhere. It ain't just one. It ain't just one false prophet. Beware of a whole lot of false prophets. You see, which come to you in sheep's clothing. They look the part. They talk a good game. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. They're, they're only here to devour you. Teach you false doctrine. Get you caught up in all kind of madness. And then flee out the back door. Because that's their job. Their job is to be a wolf. In sheep's clothing. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, of figs, of thistles? You're going to know them by their fruits, by their works. That, that's how you're going to know a man. That's how you're going to know a woman, by their works. What does it say? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree, a corrupt man, bringeth forth evil fruit, bringeth forth more corrupt men. But a good tree bringeth forth good fruit. All of us knows that. You see an apple, it's, it's rotten like on the way. You, you gonna eat it? I mean, anyone with sense with some good sis, it's not going to eat that corrupt, rotten fruit. But the majority of our people, they love corrupt fruit. You see, they love bad fruit. And my phone chimed in. What it say? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And we're seeing that. Our, 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 our eyes aren't deceiving us. We see clearly. The Lord has given us the spirit of discernment. Going right back to a matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna get it after I get this, Lord's willing. It says, um, let's read on. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So a corrupt tree, you're gonna get corrupt fruit no matter what. Come on now. Just like a good tree, the only thing it can bring forth is good fruit. That's the only thing that good tree can bring forth. And the only thing that corrupt tree can bring forth is bad fruit. You see? A corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit, Israel. You thinking things are going to change. It's a corrupt tree, man. It ain't, ain't going to change. It's going to continue to bring forth bad fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down. It's cut down eventually. That tree is going to be eventually cut the hell down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, their fruits, wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. All right? It, it, it ain't hard. Let's get this right quick. Let's go right back to Proverbs. It is just so quick. You, we, we see what's going on. Dude, look, look, harmless is wise um serpents, harmless as doves. That's a narrative. That's what the Lord wants us to do. The Lord didn't say be the hardest, hardest person on the earth, be, be as tough as steel. Come on, nah, nah. We, we got a job to do. We, we see what's going on. Everybody got to play their role. Proverbs chapter 15. Dude, this is just so quick too. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4. I mean, Proverbs chapter 15 verse 10. Correction is grievous. I'm thinking about another scripture too. Correction is grievous. Remember, we read earlier Proverbs 29 and 1. He that be an author and reproved heart in his neck shall, shall suddenly be destroyed. The Lord's going to destroy these, these, um, these false prophets and their wicked congregation. Soon. Correction is grievous. It, it grieves them. It aggravates them. It pisses them off when you correct them. When they're breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, they get mad when you come and correct them on their nonsense. And then they, they, they know what they're doing. A lot of guys pay the hell up. They know what they're doing. 
Women all in the damn school running their damn mouth. Don't, don't supposed to be saying nothing. Everybody talking about the law, 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 though. Well, the law tells a woman to, to remain silent. It's not permitted for her to learn to speak in church. But everybody just throw that out the window. Women all on the comment boards running their damn mouth. Don't know what the hell they talking about. The only thing they're supposed to be saying is shalom and, and, and giving the greeting and the salute. That's it. Everybody got a damn opinion. And so the Lord starts striking them the hell down. Shut up. You ain't got no opinion on what's going on with the ministry. But, but that comes from, you know what I'm saying, being rebellious and not, not taking correction. And, and, and watching what other women do and these other Israelite groups. They, you, they just run their damn mouth and you feel like you can run your damn mouth. Shut up. Then we're going to get that scripture too, Lord willing. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. They, they already forsook the path of righteousness. Going right back to Jeremiah um, 6 chapter, verse 16. They ain't thinking about the old path, the right way. They ain't trying to walk therein. You see that. So you follow him off the cliff. That's on you. And he that hated reproof, you hate to be corrected. Nobody can't tell you nothing. This is just unruly. Shall die. Shall die. And I, 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 want, I, I quoted some. So let's just get it. Let's just get it. Let's just get it right quick. Women giving their opinion about, you no know, saying, what the Israelite men are doing. Shut your damn mouth. We're not Esau either. We don't just let women do whatever the hell they want to do around here. No. Sleazy E lets you run your mouth. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. You, ain't nobody getting around. That's plain. You learn in silence. Point blank, period. What part of silence don't, don't they understand? What part of silence don't you women understand? You learn in silence. We don't need your opinion on nothing concerning this ministry. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sent set the men. Dude, this, this is men's business. You ain't got nothing to say about what's going on. Typing things all on the board. The Lord gonna deal with you women. This is just hard-headed. And a hard head always makes a soft ass. Let's go back to Proverbs right quick. A hard head always makes us. I just need to, just just that one scripture on the women. It's just that one. You learn in silence. You women be getting bold lately. Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse um, twelve. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man and a woman, not taking heed to what the word is saying. Being rebellious, being haughty, being undisciplined, that, that's, that seems white, right, right? Being tough, being a thug, I'm going to take over your block, I'm going to come see you, all this BS. Instead of just teaching, our job is to just teach. See, a whole lot of men forgot about all that. Our job is just to teach the word. But there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And I want to get one more. Then I'm going to close it out. This ain't meant to be done long. Just want to throw something out there right quick. A lot of men, you just can't correct. They're, they're not going to be corrected no matter what. The Lord is going to come down here and correct them. Like one of um, Elder um, Apostle Gabar's favorite favorite quotes, and, and one of mine too, but he came up with it. I heard it from him. When words can't teach, adversity will. When words can't teach, guess what? Adversity will. You see? That's all. Wait till the Lord start really putting, bringing some hell upon him. 
That fire, that fire, this adversity, this hell, this this real chaos, this madness, this about to come, these judgments. It's going to correct you, Israelites. You see, judgment has always corrected the hardest of the hardest. No matter how hard you is, judgment is harder than any hard ninja out here on the earth. That judgment will correct you, man. For real. So Rock chapter 8. We started um We started at 8. So Rock chapter 8 verse 8 despise not the word despise means to hate. Hate not the discourse of the wise. You don't you don't supposed to hate it. But acquaint thyself with their proverbs. For of them thou shalt learn instruction. Being a, what would it say? Um, hanging with wise men. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick. Let's just get it. Let's just. I want to get it right quick. I want to come right back. Come right back. It says, "Acquaint thyself with their wisdom, with the wise man's wisdom of the Bible." Right. Let's get this right quick. I'm gonna come right back. Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. That I mean, they're all, this is plain. The Lord said, make it plain upon that. This is plain. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Look, look. But, but a companion of fools. This, that's what you see. That's what you see on the internet. That's what you see out there on the highways and byways. A bunch of contentious fools. Envious. Jealousy. Just, just guys are just full of rage. And remember, the scriptures tell us to, um, to abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain. You know, come on, man. But but, but nah, these, these Israelite groups want to be seen on camera fighting and rolling around on the ground. They want to be seen at the, at the blicky range. Popping off. They're, just, they're, just, they're, look, they're, they're trying to get the ministry blamed. We see it. We're not ignorant. Of Satan devices. The majority of these Israelite groups are bought and paid off already to, to cause madness. But let us not follow a multitude to do evil. Proverbs 13 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise plain. You walk with wise men, you're going to become wiser. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. A companion of bold fellows, Israelites that can't be reproved, Israelites that can't be corrected, they're going to just do whatever they want to do, no matter what the scriptures say. But oh yeah, we're the home of truth, we're, we're, we're all about the law, we're all about this. If at all possible, you're supposed to be peaceful with all men. You sure don't don't supposed to go so with somebody else. This I mean, this is obvious though. I mean, this this is this is one on one Bible one on one. You most definitely don't go. You see, you see somebody over there teaching. You don't go over there where they teaching that and start teaching. I mean, it's not making it's not making no sense. But but then again, it is making sense. Contention, strife, envy, trying to get in the ministry blame. We see it all, man. Pay it off. All nonsense. But a campaign of fools are going to always be destroyed. So let's go back. This will be my last one. Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter 8. We'll read 8 again. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. This is who you're supposed to be listening to. This is who, you, who you're supposed to be around. The wise men of the nation of Israel, right? The leaders. The ones that truly got the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. Because this is what's going to keep us stable. For of them thou shalt learn instruction. And in how to serve great men with ease. If you're with the wise. You're going you're gonna to learn how to serve great men with ease. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learn of their fathers, and of them thou shalt learn understanding from the wise men. 
and to give answer as need requireth. Look, look, kindle not the coals of a sinner. Least thou be burnt with the flames of his fire. That's why the scripture says a soft answer turneth away wrath. A soft answer turneth away wrath. Because anytime you add coals to the fire, it makes the fire hotter. So kindle not the coals of a sinner. Least thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. It's already hot. You don't add more fuel to the fire. Uh, let's see. Um, raise not up in anger at the presence of an injurious person. Least he lie in wait to entrap thee with thy words. And I want to I I hit a point. I want to hit this point right here. 15. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow. You don't hang with a person that's willing to just do anything at any time. He, he ain't thinking. And the phone chimed in. He ain't thinking. She ain't thinking. Do not hang with a bold fellow. Do not travel with a bold fellow. Do not go anywhere with a bold fellow. I mean, nowhere, no means no. Nowhere at all. Nowhere. Not to the basketball court. Nowhere. You don't go nowhere with a bold fellow. Cause, Cause he gonna do something, and he's gonna get you. He gonna do something. He gonna, he gonna, yeah, he gonna do something and get you caught up in it. And the first thing you gonna say is, "I wish I would have stayed my ass at home." Remember, a tree may be known by its fruit. Then you look at the tree before you grab the fruit, or you just grab the fruit. You no know saying, and then you look at the tree. The tree was corrupt. You still grab the fruit. Come on now. Least he become grievous unto thee. He aggravates you, right? For he will do according to his own will. He self-will. He gonna do whatever he want to do, no matter what. No matter what the scriptures say. These bold fellows are gonna do whatever they want to do. They're not thinking about it. They ain't. They don't believe in the scriptures. They ain't thinking about the scriptures. They can yell the law, the law, the law. They can yell the home of truth and all that. They ain't about the scriptures. For he will do according to his own will. And thou shalt perish. You see this Israel? And thou shalt perish with him through his folly. And you go into the definition for the word folly. is the lack of good sense. Foolishness. You're going to perish. See that bold fellow? The, the, that man that can't be reproved. That woman that can't be reproved. You're going to get caught up in their foolishness. You're going to get caught up in their unwise decisions. You see? So yeah, I just, I just want to do something quick through the spirit, man. I've been watching um, a whole lot of videos from the apostles. Elder Bishop is a great millstone, the men on down. And, you, and we see what's going on in Israel. We see a whole lot going on, a whole lot of contention, a whole lot of strife, a whole lot of nonsense. A whole lot of Israelite groups that ain't sticking to the scripts. Let us stick to the script. We got the script. The Lord told us exactly what to do. Get this word, go out there and teach it, and lay low. Take the low. Get this word, go out there and teach it. Why the serpents harmless as doves? Sheeps, sheeps among wolves. That's, that's what we are. We're not the hardest, we're not the baddest. Lord Yahweh shall display to us exactly how we need to be. So yeah, just basically Israel, just keep your eyes open. You you, you see what's going on. You, you you better see what's going on. A whole lot of these other Israelite groups, you know what I'm saying? These false Israelite groups gonna lead their whole congregation to the slaughter. And the whole for elects among them, you know what I'm saying, which was they bug the hell out right about now if you with these other false groups, but we know we know they're among them. The Lord's gonna eventually deliver them. But something's got to happen. Something's gonna have to happen first. Keep your eyes open, Israel. Shalom.